Hello boys and girls, what time is it? Yes, it's lesson study time with Sister King. So, welcome to today's lesson which is called Too Short to See. And it's lesson number six. Let us pray. Our kind and loving Father, we give you praise and thanks for all that you have done for us. Thank you for loving us, dear Lord. Help us to learn more about your love. In Jesus' wonderful name with thanksgiving. Amen. Our message is, Jesus wants everyone to be in his family. Our memory verse is, Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Let us now sing, Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Then we will listen to the mission story, then our lesson study. After that, we will sing, Jesus loves even me. Surprise Gifts One day 13-year-old Jared read about a boy named Wilford in Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories. Wilford liked to surprise people with gifts. He wrapped up gifts, tied them to a rope, and lowered them over people's walls. Then he fled. Jared thought it would be fun to do the same thing in Tokmok, Kyrgyzstan, where he lived with his parents and 11-year-old brother, Sam. He asked mother for permission to put gifts in old tissue boxes. What kind of gifts? Mother asked. Some toys and whatever else I can find, Jared said. Mother liked the idea. Jared and Sam had cars and Legos that they had brought along when their family moved from Argentina to serve as gospel workers in Kyrgyzstan. Many neighborhood boys were poor and didn't have toys. Jared told a school friend, Camel, about the plan. Let's put some toys in boxes and throw them over walls, he said. Camel smiled widely. He thought it was a grand idea, and he wanted to help, even though he didn't have any toys to give away. The boys took two tissue boxes and filled them with Legos, toy cars, scarves, and bars of soap. Getting onto their bicycles, they rode to Camel's neighborhood and chose two houses at random. Jared hurled one box over a fence, and Camel threw the other one over another fence. Quickly, the boys pedaled away. At Jared's house, they laughed as they imagined the surprise of the children, who had received the gifts. Jared's brother, Sam, overheard the excited conversation. Can I join you next time, he asked. A few days later, the three boys got together to prepare more gifts. They invited another boy from school, Kozimbek, to join them. The boys filled two shoeboxes two empty tissue boxes, and two plastic bags with a variety of toys, scarves, and soap. Loading the boxes on their bicycles, they set off in search of unsuspecting homes. After a few minutes, Jared saw a house surrounded by a fence. The yard was filled with trees. Sam, he said, throw your bag into the yard. Sam tossed the bag over the fence, and it landed in the tree's lower branches. 
Quick, do something, Sam, squealed. Camel was the tallest, so he leaped over the fence. Reaching up into the branches, he grabbed the bag and dropped it on the grass. Let's go before anyone sees us, he shouted. The boys raced away on their bicycles. After throwing four more gifts over fences, the boys were left with one last box. Jared spotted a house with a large metal gate. Quick, push the gift under the gate, he told Kozenbeck. As soon as Kozenbeck pushed the box under the gate, someone yelled, Why are you throwing garbage into my yard? As the boys rode away, they heard the voice suddenly exclaim from behind the gate, This isn't garbage, it's a gift. During family worship that evening, Jared and Sam excitedly told father and mother about what had happened. Father was pleased. He prayed for the people who had received the gifts. Jared and Sam are still throwing surprise boxes over people's fences. No one knows that they are responsible, and that's the way they want it. Part of the 13th Sabbath offering three years ago helped. Construct a gymnasium at Jared and Sam School in Tokmok, Kyrgyzstan. Thank you for supporting Adventist education. Ask the children what nice surprises they can do for other people. Remind them that when they do kind deeds for others, they are doing them for Jesus. Remind them that Jesus said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20, 35 Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Too Short to See. Today's memory verse is from Luke chapter 19, verse 10. It says, Jesus came to seek and to save what was lost. The message for today's story is Jesus wants everyone to be in his family. Do you know someone that other people don't like? Do you think Jesus likes that person? What would you do if no one liked you? People did not like Zacchaeus. Why didn't people like Zacchaeus? Because of his job. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He took extra money from poor people to make himself rich. That's stealing. And people didn't like it. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus loved everybody. I wonder if Jesus loves me, he thought to himself. No, Jesus couldn't love me. I took people's money. Do you think Jesus loves Zacchaeus? Of course he did, because Jesus loves everybody. Zacchaeus decided that he would not cheat people anymore. He wanted to be like Jesus. He said he was sorry to the people and started to give back the money that he had wrongly taken. But the people still didn't like Zacchaeus. They didn't believe him. They wouldn't even let him come to church. Zacchaeus was sad and discouraged. One day Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to Jericho. That was his town. Oh, he just had to see Jesus. Jesus had changed his heart, and Jesus would understand how Zacchaeus felt. He was a short man, so he couldn't see over the tops of people's heads. He was going to miss seeing Jesus. He turned and quickly climbed up a nearby tree. Higher and higher he climbed so that he could see better. Then he saw Jesus coming. Suddenly, Jesus stopped right under that tree. He looked up at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. The people were so surprised. <gasps> they couldn't believe that Jesus would want to go to Zacchaeus' house, to the house of a cheater. Zacchaeus hopped out of that tree and took Jesus home with him. Now he knew that he was forgiven. He knew that Jesus loved him. Jesus told Zacchaeus' whole family how much he loved them and wanted them to be a part of his family. Jesus told them that he had come to earth to save everyone, including them. Zacchaeus wanted to do things the way Jesus did. He looked at Jesus and said, 
I want to give half of my money to the poor. To the people that I've cheated, I want to give back four times as much as I took. I want to love everybody the way you do. Jesus was happy that Zacchaeus felt that he was a part of God's family. Jesus wants us to feel a part of God's family too. This podcast is produced by gracelink.net at Studio El Piso, Singapore. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Boys and girls, that's it for lesson number six. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for wanting us to be part of your family. Help us to show love and respect to others. Their Father, help us to be more like you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Remember to show others that you care. Jesus loves you.